Alright, I finally got through there. So that has to be done in recharging everybody's health. And I really want that light bulb up there. The light bulbs restore everybody's life. Well, it doesn't restore everybody's life now. I'm just gonna restore whoever is the lowest amount of life, and that's Simon. That battle. Man, that battle is just unbelievable. I found that that was well and truly the only way I found to defeat that boss. And health. There's a treasure chest up ahead that I can open. Every time there's a monkey, I better just attack it like mad. Each one takes three hits to kill, and they are just a pain. Or whatever these things are supposed to be. I'm assuming they're monkeys because they're hopping around. This is King Kong's level. So why not? So, who needs health? Just me? Okay. Or no, just go on. Okay. Ow. The one disadvantage about Goemon is that he cannot attack downward. But... But attacking enemies does stun them, giving you plenty of time to counterattack them. What's in the next room? Mecha Kongs. Oh! Get out of here! I really hate how they hurt a lot if they hit you. Thankfully, there are no enemies in this room, because now we are rescuing Kong. He says, hey. I'm not really sure which spot in particular you're supposed to push down on, but now we finally get the the best character in the game, Kong. But we need to get his weapon first. We need to get his his projectile weapon. What's good about him? His attacks do double damage, making very short work of enemies. Oh, yeah. It just feels good that those things right there only take five hits to kill. And later on, they'll only take three hits at the most. Now, note that the monkeys cannot change their direction until they've hit the edge of the screen. The. Uh... I've always wondered, can... Oh, wait, I think that crack is only for when you get the cape. Yes, I know you're saying that, yeah, he, al uh, he already has a cape. He's wearing one. Well, this is a different kind of cape, believe it or not, and... I mean, when... I mean... I mean, when I was playing this game, when my, when my friends saw me playing this for the first time, they were thinking the same thing. He's... He's already wearing a cape. Why would you want to get another cape? Well, my best explanation for this is because it works on both Konami Man and Konami Lady. Oh, uh, man. In this room... Huh. Welcome to the room of Bomb Hell. We get Bomb... We get this enemy that looks like the one from Transformers Convoy No Nazo that shoot looks just like whose colors kind of look like Ultra Magnuses from Convoy No Nazo. Ow! I gotta turn around so I can hit him. Having to go through this stage. Now, unlike all the other levels in this game, this 
This one doesn't actually have a secret. This one doesn't have a secret exit. This level, if you think of that, it's actually very short, but it takes a while because you have a lot of durable enemies that also take a lot, that also do a lot of damage too. One advantage that this game does have, though, is that you can actually, um... Yeah, I gotta switch to the man himself. Because here we get the rock. Okay. We're almost through, so I think I'm just gonna run through like mad. Because I really don't want to waste any time. Okay, we're almost there. Alright, see you next time. We'll be going to Foom as Hell. <clears throat> okay, this is the real. That, that wasn't the... That was the real beginning of part two. We're just gonna be doing an intro for Foom as Hell. <clears throat> Mainly so we can get the cape. And these may look like spikes at first, but they're actually not. You want to use Kong for this first area, and I want to do it quickly so I can conserve time. I should just do it quickly and not care. I just want to get through. I'm not even gonna fight the boss yet and try to free Fuma yet. I just want to get through this first part. And this first part is extremely, incredibly long. It takes a while. But hopefully I can get in under... under 8 minutes. One minute's gone by already, I'm already here. Now we get these flying... These flying Medusa head things. You know what? I don't even care. Yeah, I took some damage. I don't care because I just really want to get through this. So, we get some health for me. Well, yeah, what health isn't for me. We go down another staircase. And now we have these Medusas. They are a pain if you keep them alive long enough. Let me want me to show you. Isn't that cheap? They take away two sevenths of your life if they stay on screen long enough, because they'll do this red flash, which means you want to get rid of them as soon as possible. Not only do you want to get by them, you just want them dead. No, all you want is them to be dead. That's all you ever want them to be. Otherwise, you will have a very rough time with them, and it will not do you any good at all. Trust me, I've had lots of trouble with those things. I really don't care if I take this much damage, I just really want to get through this. Alright, but I do have to time my jumps, though. The cave yet, that's right. I really want that health too. I, and I really don't care about that bullet back there. That's the only way that I've truly found to deal with that skeleton right there. And all these enemies will stay on screen as long as as long as they don't get destroyed, so you basically have to kill them in order not to have any enemies on the screen at all. I'm only three minutes into this video and I've already made that far. This is the next room, and again, we only came here for the cape, nothing else. And straight out I get to Fumaden, as you saw on my review of this game get these skeletons with their whips. 
wait, did you see them? I forget. I really don't want to have to tell you in another video, though. And they... And they hurt a lot if they hit. And since they have no whipping animation like Simon does, that makes them very dangerous, because it could just make them very unfair all the time. So right up there is the cape that we need. So we're just going to get it. Get it, and we're gonna get out of here. I forgot I was down. I was pressing up for some no apparent reason. I'll see you in the next part when we when we go get all the extra weapons that we need. See you then.